Goodness, oh geez, bouncing Brock Reznor right off those ropes. And I gotta say, we got a phenom that is more aggressive than we have ever seen from the inside to the outside for all, ladies and gentlemen. And oh my, the knee almost connected there. And Michael Cole looks like he just shat his pants like a fucking couple of dookies right in his underwear. And look at this, every time Michael Cole gets up, it looks like he shat his pants. And wait a second here, miscommunication, Brock Reznor sent barreling into those steps. And the ginger, the undertaker, oh my goodness, just taking liberty with that big old broad body of the farmer from Minnesota, the man known as Brock Reznor, and of course, Reznor, look, wait a second here, folks. Oh, he's tossing, he wants to impress JBL. No sell by The Undertaker. And look at this, right away, the point of the elbow in the forehead, and Undertaker drops that big old fucking big ass booty right onto that ugly mug of Brock Reznor. Wait a second, looking to do a little bit of interior designing here. Some decor by the Undertaker. Oh, Undertaker taking it to Brock Reznor. Reznor feeling it here. Right into that turnbuckle. And we better be careful because Brock Reznor, while he's not used to blading his head for dramatic purposes, he does it a whole nother way. He actually bashes his head as hard as he can into that turnbuckle post a la WrestleMania to guarantee that blood will throw, baby! And wait a second here! Oh my! A crack shot right onto the noggin of the Undertaker! Taker! And Taker fighting back here! Wait a second, Undertaker Taker not being... Oh my! Oh my! The Undertaker! Oh my goodness! Jumping right up and down! And the Undertaker is having a good time rearranging that furniture here. Wait a s- what's this? That's a nice move! And the Undertaker! Could he be going old school? He's going up! Rocking the ropes! And, oh my, right onto that table, but the table no sells, doesn't break. It would have been a bad move for that anyway. And look at this, oh, Resta pulling his weight, tossing the big guy, and the knee to the face. He must be pretending that the Undertaker is Frank Mir, circa UFC 2008. And wait a second, the table. Watch out, folks. That table is not playing nice here tonight at Summer's Ram. Brock Reznor, the farmer from Minnesota. Oh, he's tossing his body around. And a nice move by the Undertaker. Undertaker setting it up here, folks. He's setting something up. He's got the table. He sets it up big time. And wait a second, that table does not want to go up on my rate. Nice body slam by the Phenom from Death Valley. And now look at this, looking to set up that table. He's got something destructive in mind, that Undertaker. Oh my, that was a fail on, on all fronts. This is not Lucha Underground and you're not Mexican, the Undertaker. What you thinking here? And a nice suplex! You wanna take someone to suplex? Oh, wait a second, he's just getting right back up. Shit. Come on back! And Brock Reznor! Oh, Reznor! Reznor made a big mistake! And a choke slam! Choke slam! On Brock Reznor! 
Oh, wait a second. Oh, Suplex City. He wanted to take Resta for a ride. And look at this. Oh my, oh my. Oh, there it is. The Suplex City that we were promised. Resda took him there. And we're in Los Angeles, California. No, wait a second. We're in Barclay Center, New York. My mistake. Uh-oh. Resda brought foul play. And the Undertaker was able to take advantage. And that's setting up that table, folks. Setting up that table big time is the Undertaker. What is going on here? Look at this. He's flying solo here, folks. What is the Undertaker doing? Uh-oh. Oh, no, wait a second. Oh, this is reckless right here. You want to talk about jumping from it? Oh, my goodness. Flying Ginger. Oh, my goodness. Flying Ginger. Oh, my goodness. And jumping from inside to the outside. Michael Cole got up faster than a motherfucking Indian in the damn forest when he hears a gunshot. My goodness. And look at this again. Dropping the big old booty right onto that face. And the Undertaker, what is he planning here? He's got something up that big old sleeve. Uh oh, wait a second. What's he gonna do? Oh my goodness, he's whipping him harder than Hulk Hogan wished he could whip black people. That's terrible. And to preface that joke, I do not share the same views as Hulk Hogan. I have a huge love for black people and black culture. And to prove that to you, I actually saw straight out of Compton this past weekend. So there you go. Whipping boy to kill a mockingbird. He must have fucking read that recently. And now he is forgoing that piece of furniture. What is Reznor doing? He's waiting. Oh, wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second here. Into the corner. What is Reznor planning here? Uh oh, wait a second, folks. Wait a second, folks. Bad idea. Uh oh. Undertaker. Oh my god. Undertaker. Just drove him right into the mat, and here comes Hell's Gate, baby. Here comes Hell's Gate, and the Undertaker has avenged his loss from WrestleMania. Boom! Give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, stop drinking the hate of and start drinking the bubble tea. Ciao, oh, son, motherfucker. And let's take a look at these replays here. My goodness, it ended just like that. Out of nowhere, Brock Lesnar, we thought he had this whole match in control. Whipping the Undertaker into that corner. However, look at this. Luring him back in. Oh my, oh my goodness, no. No, 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 no. Choke slam right through the table, bitch. Right through the table. He crossed it. And he got it, baby. He made Brock Lesnar sniff his painish, his crotch, his coochie. And the Undertaker squeezed the life out of Brock Lesnar. And that was all she wrote. Yes, In fact, as Angela Ransberry would say, that's murder she wrote, baby. The Undertaker has avenged his loss at WrestleMania. And I gotta say, before I prematurely said Chavo side, just in case because my battery is running low. But now that I have the opportunity to say it again, baby. Ciao, suck, motherfucker.